Many Magic players have started to ask the question, is Mana Crypt headed for a crash? Is this card beyond redemption and will it finally bottom out into a $40 to $50 card? Well, in today's video, we're going to discuss that very possibility as well as what players should be looking forward to when Mana Crypts get reprinted inside of the Lost Caverns of Ixalan. Is Mana Crypt about to crash? That's the question a lot of players are asking. Welcome back everyone. MTG Moxman here. Thanks again for hanging out with me on the channel today. Before we start today's video, a reminder that this video is sponsored and brought to you by the patrons of this channel as well as my YouTube membership members. Thanks again for supporting everyone. Now let's take a look at the original printing of Mana Crypt and where it all started. A lot of Magic players have a hard time believing that the original Mana Crypt was actually a free item. This was a promotional item you could send away for in the back of a novel by clipping a coupon and sending it in. That's right guys, you didn't have to spend $250 Canadian or $180 US. You could just get this card mailed to your house in 8 to 12 weeks by reading a novel and mailing it in. And you would be right in assuming that this card's popularity continued to grow after 1996. After this card's promotion was over, more players started to seek this card out to try to find copies to play with. But those popular decks didn't really reach the frenzied height of when Commander came to the forefront and players were looking for ways to accelerate their deck. This card fits so perfectly into Commander that it was just a card that players were begging to get their hands on and then Wizards of the Coast finally reprinted this card. And they didn't do it inside of a promotional item. It wasn't a giveaway card that you could mail away for anymore. It was found inside of premium priced products. We found it in Eternal Masters 2016. They followed through as a secret invention card in Kaladesh in the same year of 2016. We saw it finally show up in a mystery booster box. How about Double Masters 2022? And now we're getting around to seeing this card appear in the Lost Caverns of Ixalan in different neon ink images. But with each reprinting of the card, it is always rebounded in price. It dips for a while, different styles of artwork attract the attention of players, but in each time it's been reprinted, it is bounced back in price within a certain time frame. So it begs the question, what makes people think it's not going to bounce back this time? On the surface, Mana Crypt looks like it's had a lot of reprintings over the last few years. It looks and appears like Wizards of the Coast has been cashing in on the equity for this card because of its popularity in Commander with the player base for Magic the Gathering. They've added Sherp, different forms of artwork, and different popularity based on those artworks does demand different pricing levels, and players have sought out different iterations of the card based on that popularity, and they've kept those in their decks to offer some kind of differential when you look at this particular card. But again, it is sought after in many Commander decks. Players like to have multiple copies if they can afford to get so, and of course they like to have the rare, flashier versions that are harder to come by that have only appeared in less and less products. So when we look at this card and look at the rarity, the lower printing, as well as the variations of the card, it is less likely to fall prey to the overprinting we've seen with other cards because you'd have to come up with a better variation of this card, a superior type of Mana Crypt, to really cash in that particular value. And at this point in Magic's history and the way the game state is being played by Wizards of the Coast, I think they are more content, more relaxed to just come up with new variations of the artwork and reprint it every few years, again, keeping the scarcity high by only adding this card in to specialty products at a higher level or a regular product at an extremely hard to get risk management type item, which means you're gambling on a chance to get something like you're seeing here in the Lost Caverns of Ixalan. It's just not going to be that common of an item going forward. They're going to keep it rare and scarce. So what does that mean for the players now? If we look at the previous years of the printings of Mana Crypt and the way Wizards of the Coast has managed this particular IP product, you can recognize and look at how difficult they've made this card to get. They've only added it to premium products. 
they've kept it at a higher price point inside those premium products. When you look at it inside of a regular draft box, it's only appeared as a chase item like in Kaladesh or what's likely going to happen in the Lost Caverns of Ixalan. These cards will not be easily attained. They will be the chase card. They will be difficult because Wizards of the Coast knows that Commander players want them and recognizes the secondary market value. They know that if they keep this card at a higher scarcity level, they make more money and they can help bank a product by making sure it's more successful by adding a Mana Crypt into that particular product. They are in no rush to devalue, in my opinion, this card. You can look at the history of the card, the rebounding price that happens every time it's been reprinted, and you can look at the variations and iterations of the artwork. You can appreciate the beauty, but the price always seems to rebound back after a certain period of time. This lets you know that Wizards of the Coast plans on keeping this card rare. Do they really expect to create a superior form of Mana Crypt? Not likely in the near future. A card like this has a nice relaxed value that Wizards of the Coast can count on and can cash in each and every time it gets a reprint. They know that it sells a product. And until the time the game gets to a power creep level that they have to replace Mana Crypt with something superior, they will do it far down the road after they have made sure to capitalize the maximum they can get out of Mana Crypt right now, which I think is going to be for years and years to come. So any player who honestly believes that this card is going to crash out in price and you believe it's going to appear in every box inside the Lost Caverns of Ixalan, I think you're going to have to wait a while. You're going to have to reassess and wait till these boxes start getting opened so we can see how Wizards of the Coast has planned it out. It doesn't mean that it's not going to crash. It doesn't mean that Wizards doesn't want to make it accessible to everybody and want everyone to have a cheap version of this card. It's just less likely because they're a giant bureaucratic beast that wants more money. And there is no incentive for this company to just give away a promotional item anymore. They know it has value. They know they want to cash in on it. So for any player who thinks the Lost Caverns of Ixalan is just going to have it in every single box, I think it is less likely. I also believe this product is actually going to rebound quicker than players realize when they see how hard this card is to get. Yes, the different artwork from the Lost Caverns of Ixalan will attract new players to trade up copies, trade in various copies, and there's always a panic sell. But that could be a great market response for players who want to get in on this card and enjoy a lower price. This card's been as low as $70, $80 at some points before it finally rebounds back up. And that is something players can look forward to because it has happened in the past. We have a history of that card doing that, but we also know that the rebound effect of this card can be quite staggering and Wizards of the Coast, if they see it drop too low, will be less likely to add it to any products in the near future, probably waiting several years before they add it back into another product that is of course premium priced or at some kind of gambler's premium. I really hope you guys enjoyed my video today. Thanks a lot for sticking around and hanging out with me today. A reminder that if you enjoyed today's content, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm looking forward to seeing you all tomorrow for another fantastic video. Don't forget, it's an amazing game. Bring a friend to magic and I'll see you guys tomorrow. And a special shout out and thank you. To the fantastic supporters of this channel, because of those supporters, we have daily uploaded content for everyone to enjoy, and it's because of the patrons and the YouTube membership members. Thanks again, everyone. See you tomorrow. Welcome back to the Ramble Jamble. You've made it to the end of the video all about Mana Crypt. Guys, when you think about Mana Crypt, and you look at that price tag of around 200 bucks, you know, the price is falling, which is awesome for those of us who want to get one. And yes, I'll enjoy the ride down because I do believe it's going to climb back up in value. I really, we've seen this time and again with this card. It's just too many people trying to get hold of it. And it's not found in a regular product at a regular attrition rate of Mythic. It's too hard to get. They did it on purpose. They want us to spend the money and have the chase and have something to look forward to in that box. But... If you really wanted to get the Mana Crypt anyway, you're just going to buy it. If it's a Commander player and they're looking at a draft box of Ixalan for a chance or just spend the 200 bucks and buy it, of course they're just going to go and buy it. It's the other players out there who get the bling, the excitement, the crack addiction of maybe opening one inside of a box. The idea of sitting down, cracking open 36 packs and seeing what happens. Opening up a collector box, wondering what's going to happen. The set booster box before everything changes over and becomes the play booster.
And when you look at the history of this card and how much they've actually reprinted it, it's not that much. It's always at a premium level and it's always costing players a lot of money to crack those boxes. It's a protected asset as far as I'm concerned. And everyone who wants and thinks it's going to collapse, you go ahead and think that way. I'll go ahead and think the way I think and we'll see who comes out right. And I have a feeling that I know who it is. <laughs> guys, thanks for chilling out with me on the channel. Thanks for hanging out. I hope you guys are having an awesome day in the world of magic because we actually do deserve it. We made it to the end of the Ramble Jamble. You're going to put a boomstick in the comment section. This is Halloween when you're watching this right now. Did you realize it? This is Halloween. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. 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 Ha 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 ha.